Yes, he is. Firework girl. Yes. All right, that's it. I'm doing this. I'm gonna do the next um, the firework girl, whatever the hell it is. No, we're all just sitting at the beach. We're looking for the great Mujina Yokai. Mujina Yokai, what? Do you know where it lives? No, I don't know what a Mojina yokai is. I know what a yokai is like a folktale word for uh, a ghost, but no. Great Mojina yokai? What's that? Huh? You've never heard of it? No. It's a sneaky monster that goes around playing tricks on people. It's got magic powers and can even shapeshift into anything it wants. Uh huh, like a kitchen. Also, Genshin, Genshin community regard this quest as bo pretty boring. Another reason for them to hate it. Inazuma Archon quest. Okay. One time, the great Mujina Yokai stole some rice from our house. And this other time, it pushed my dad into the river. Oh my god, it pushed your dad into the river. That must be a horrible crime. Sounds like a very naughty little monster. Why are you looking out for it? Chase it away. Uh-huh. My dad said that the great Mujina Yokai likes to play tricks on people who stay out all the time and don't come home when they're supposed to. So you think you can try to take it on? Also, you you just repeated that before. Why would you ever need to say it plays tricks on people all, all the time? So all we need to do is chase it away. Then we could come out and play whenever we want. Okay. This monster sounds scary though. Aren't you guys afraid? Aren't you guys gonna... That sounds believable. I don't know what to make of this. Like, you have three kids looking for a monster. And they... They probably don't get the fact that... Gee, maybe this monster might kill them. Shouldn't they have a backup plan? Or did they not think too far ahead at this point? Surely your parents must be worried about you. Yes. Oh, not really. I told my dad that I was going to find the great Mujina Yokai with some friends, and he didn't even say anything. I really wonder why your dad did not say a thing. So we think it must be weak right now. It's probably hiding away so it can rest. Or maybe it could be a fake and you're looking for no reason. Come on, I'm going to put two and two together. Um, like the fact that his dad... <laughs> Use your brain. Okay, fine. The fact that he, this kid is saying it pushed his dad into a river. I'm starting to think his dad is the yokai. Because, like, the fact that these kids believe it without question and never, like, elaborate on it. I'm thinking that his dad is probably embarrassed from being, from tripping into the river. He wants to blame it on the monster and these kids are just, like, believing a fake story. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, so as long as we get home before it gets its strength back, we'll be safe. Mm. Something sounds if the monster comes for you, surely you won't be safe at home. We've never seen the monster like this, and that is, he doesn't quite add up. Yeah, kind of just like the great Mujina Yokai is one of those stories of monsters that doesn't exist all the time. We should tell them so they don't waste all their time looking for it. Oh, children, listen up. There's no need to go looking for the Christmas tree. Let's see if you're right. Eye, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Great! Is it real? Is it gonna be like a the child uh, quest thing? Huh? No way! That's impossible! My dad wouldn't lie to me. Whose parents don't lie to their kids? Your folks are just worried about you, is all. They don't want you wandering too far from home because it's too dangerous. Also, it's raining. And nobody cares. That's not true. The great Mujina Yokai is definitely real. Prove it. Yeah! Yoi Mia's even making some weapons for us. And then she's gonna show us how to blow it up! Uh, wow. Yoi Mia, huh? Wait, as in fireworks prison break, Yoi Mia? We're just standing in the rain, getting wet, and nobody cares. Also, these other kids are not getting wet. Just, just me. And I don't even think Paimon cares. We told her all about the great Mujina Yoka. She said we shouldn't be scared. Wait, everyone on the moon, Paimon! <laughs> uh, totally good. Okay. We've been waiting for ages now. And finally, you and me have said that today's the day! For what? Was the, today the day for, like, 
the fireworks or for doing something about the the, the yokai? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Your Mia plays with us and tells us stories all the time. She wouldn't tell a lie. What if she did? Have you ever thought that people do lie? Or do we just assume people don't like, lie? Like, <clears throat> Come on, let's get out of here and go find your Mia. I, I know how the Traveler and Paimon are thinking. When you're trying to convince a bunch of kids the truth, but they don't want to listen. Wait, hold on, don't go! Uh, they didn't seem to take that very well. But Paimon was only trying to look out for them. Mm-hmm. Kids will believe lies. Patrick would know. Who knows what your has got to do with this? Let's follow the kids and see what's going on. Okay, dream life timelessness started. Looking for Yomiya. Cheer up, guys. Don't be so down. She was only joking back there. How could the great Regina Yokai not exist? Huh? But we've never seen it for ourselves. So they actually are looking into it. That's because the great Regina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help. Is um, it's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey. Remember, if you want to be a hero, you got to have patience and wisdom, too. So, in other words, kids don't listen because someone else is lying to them. Even if you can't find it right now, it'll definitely show up before the fireworks show starts. So, remember to come and pick up your weapons from me before then, okay? You're relying on a bunch of kids to help you out. But you know what? I don't judge. No matter how powerful the great Regina Yokai might be, it's no match for my specially made fireworks. Just light them up and you'll scare it off, no problem. Or just set it fire to everything and it just go full of blaze. It's up to you guys to protect your homes, your crops, and your folks. Yeah, but I just have one question about that. What happens if it's a rainy day? Do fireworks still work at that point, or do you not account for the weather patterns? Got it! Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. We'll just accept the lie and go on with it. Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. I have two slips of paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Uh-huh. Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Okay. Thank you, Yoimiya. Uh, thanks, Yoimiya. Sure thing. Will do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Just like that. Hi. And they don't even Hi. notice the traveler. It's been a while. We meet again. Or as they say in Japan, Sashibure Yomiya-chan. Ah, oh, so it was you guys. I guessed as much from the way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. The great Wajima Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. You can... Oh, God. When you try to tell things to kids, and it just doesn't work. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist! Well, yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute, it likes to play pranks, and it doesn't hurt people. It's just a lie. Don't worry about it. So, uh, I guess now the kids' impression of the great Mujina Yokai is mostly influenced by me. Huh. So in a way, it's really bad idea to keep a lie going like that. Maybe so. In any case, I'm not going to be the one who exposes it. Yeah, but you're going to be the one all these kids are going to look at when someone is going to expose it. Sure, it's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons, too. Yeah, like uh, finding other lies. Uh, if I just yeah. go ahead and tell them that the great Regina Yokai doesn't exist without knowing the full story, then who knows? I might be doing more harm than good. Besides, they're just kids. They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Uh, oh god. Telling them that's not real, the truth just hurts your childhood. <laughs> I entertain my fair share of fantasies too. 
The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, the mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide you to Fairyland if you can find them. Really? I, I know it's Japanland, Inazuma, but you don't have to make up more stories about supernatural stuff. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist, nah, 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 I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because uh, it's just so annoying. I get kind of get what you're saying, but at the same time, a lie ain't gonna cut it in the long run. Right? So what if it's made up? It's also really awesome and kind of magical. So it's not up to anyone else to tell me what's what. Uh, I, I asked that because there's already too many damn lies in our society. The things we believed and the experiences we had when we were young turn into our priceless treasures as we grow up. Our childhood lies are the reason why we live. When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and sacred swords that cut through darkness. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down, all the grim tales of the Vision Hunt decree. I think it's a bit too early for all of that. Yeah, well, maybe we should do something about the whole Vision Hunt thing. Uh, yeah! You didn't oh, fall at all, did you? Early. For sure! <laughs> Whether you understood me or not, don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Okay, <laughs> it's about time I headed back. The Nagnohara Fireworks Show is just around the corner, and there's Nagnohara Fireworks Show? Is that hosted by your family or yes. something? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why our name is on the event. It's well known throughout Inazuma. Oh, on the subject, are you busy these days? We've been looking not, for our totally come along. I'll prepare it. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Nagnohara. We'll go see my boss. Wait, where's Thanks Nagnohara? Them have that. Shush. Please. Thank you. The secret sword that was. Shut up with the dragon. Shut up with the sword. Just enjoy the oh, fantasy and go with it. Hey, Pops. I'm back. The fireworks show is almost upon us, and the fireworks for each family are almost ready. Oh, new faces? Who are these two? Friends or customers? Friends and maybe customers. I don't know if I want to buy fireworks. Do I want to buy fireworks? I probably already have fireworks. Never mind. I probably already have fireworks. A bit of both, actually. <laughs> I arrived in Inazuma just recently. Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? And the fact that her father is not questioning her on how the hell they ended up in Inazuma after she just complained about the country being in a locked state makes me wonder how much of a loophole or loose end that nobody has ever included about how the hell did you enter the country? <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rianosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. He's not even going to question how the hell we got in the country. He's literally just going to pretend like he didn't hear how we got into Inazuma. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. Ah, a long, long time ago. Mukashi, Mukashi. Ancient times, ancient times. Something Pops burned, has started telling and stories again. Don't. Sorry about this. Rocks, uh, ever since Pops burn. had his accident, but his ears don't work too well. In other words, telling the to shut up won't work. Really? But for a moment there, People it almost seemed like you were having a coherent hmm. conversation. Much, much later, people eventually realize that if you grind certain materials into dust, they burn with many beautiful colors. You, j I feel like you looked at fire and you had an epiphany, like a baptism by fire moment. Pops, Pops wait! <laughs> yeah, don't have a baptism by fire moment. Did they deliver those firework materials that we ordered? Oh, yesterday's fireworks have all been delivered. So have the ones from the day before you. No, Pops, I meant the materials. The materials that we ordered. Ah, oh, today's fireworks are almost ready, too. Don't you worry. <laughs> Your old man's skills are still as sharp as ever. Yeah, but your, your hearing is not. No, Pops, the materials. The raw materials. Sorry? 
materials. Oh, oh, the materials. As much as I get after him, even I have, uh, yeah, even I am hard of hearing. Yes, yes, the materials. Sorry, sorry, Paimon got all excited because he finally got the message across. <laughs> the materials aren't here yet. The couriers did come over to explain why, but, well, I think they did, but I couldn't quite hear what they were saying. Yeah, because you, your hearing is shit. And you know what? My hearing is shit as well. No worries. As long as we know, that's fine. We can just make them later. Uh oh. Don't forget to take the goods in when they deliver them. Okay, Pops? He's not gonna get it. Of course. Leave it to me. He doesn't know. He just doesn't actually know. <laughs> Sorry if we were a little loud. It's so always seems the way a little more friendly. I think the two of you are quite similar. How, how exactly is Yumiya similar? Like, she has to yell at him. I don't see any sort of similarity there. Uh huh. That's my pops. He's a good person, all right. Because my pops is deaf, he never argues with anyone and never contradicts them. He just listens cheerfully. Yes, and he doesn't even know he's deaf. But he's still able to get, like, like wording. When I was little, I thought it was because he really understood me and agreed with whatever I had to say. So I told my pops everything. Uh huh. But then you realize he was deaf and nothing ever mattered to him. Eventually, I realized that the reason he was like that was that he's deaf. But I still tell him stories every day. Mm hmm. Kind of like someone I remember. Because you want to actually have some, you feel like you want to have someone who's gonna listen to you. It just makes me happy to see him smile, and it keeps him from being lonely, right? Reminds me of one of my friends, but that's a story for another day. Anyway, more importantly, right now the fireworks show is right around the corner, and the materials still haven't arrived. We need to think of an alternative. Mm-hmm. You, Mia, is that you? I thought I told you to be more careful before you speak. Wasn't this your hiding spot from the last time, and now you're scared of whoever's behind the corner? S sorry. Hold on. I'm coming over. I'm looking inside. Hmm. No hmm. one's looking. Okay, you can come out now. Uh, come around the side. The person I in the house carefully crawls yeah, outside. We're lucky that no one from the Terrio Commission was around. Otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. Yeah, you're lucky uh, you didn't go in front of a guard. Sorry, I guess I was a little rash. But when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. Uh-huh. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out... Thank you for all your help. Who is this? Sakujiro. Why is he hiding in your home? He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. Mm hmm. Arrest? Shh! Keep it down! You don't want if Sakajiro was caught. There's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. Thunderstorm out in the ocean. Find him, but yeah, they know it's going to be dangerous. But there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? Uh, drowning is really scary. How would you know? Have you tried to drown yourself? If things are this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? Well, there's something I felt I had to do. I have unfinished business, so I'd risk life and limb. But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. I am so indecisive. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, mm -hmm. no worries. You're more than welcome. Little piece of paper? Remember something about that? Like the paper slips you gave to the kids? Yep. The same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. Oh, yeah, Whenever it only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. Do we have to track those kids down and look for the recipe for the fireworks? If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, 
We guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased. Wow! It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. No. Uh, I would have thought that things would turn out the way they have. Yeah, when uh, you're dealing with the shogunate who's giving you a hard time. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution. Because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever the reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. I actually had this this theme stuck in my head at work. Because I, I know I'm going to be dealing with the Raiden Shogun at one point. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. Alright, uh, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. Okay. So, Kujiro goes back into hiding. It's a shame. I still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Hmm. Speaking of, you guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? We went through a long bureaucratic process on Rito. Even <clears> then, <throat> we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Hiragi Chisato of the Kanjo Commission. Oh, I see. So you had Big Shots helping you. Uh, and let that theme be a prequel to the real Gero. fight. Hmm. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. When you have a hardline shogun, anyone under them is not going to be flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? Each Archon has their own idea of how to run things, unfortunately. <sighs> well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. I invited you to come watch the firework. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I don't mind coming on. Firework materials in the boat by myself. <sighs> Filler quest and my camera froze. God damn it! As soon as I was just about to yawn. Oh, oh my god! Cool. Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. Oh uh, god! I got to do something about my camera. Um, if it's fine with you, can I ask how you two first met? I don't know. Boink. Luigi, I'm here! How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's, uh, all right, I guess. Um, I w was questioned, though. Wait, wait, <clears throat> should we really be talking about this in front of them? Yes! Oh, don't worry, they're my friends. You can trust them? Yeah! You could say we're all in the same boat here! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I see. Sorry. I didn't mean to doubt you. Huh? Why is that? Uh... Because of the Sokoku Decree. The Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding mm -hmm. to know what we plan on doing with it. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. <coughs> I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I always come to you. Right, I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Okay. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't uh -huh. find the slightest thing wrong with them. <coughs> All right, then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma mm. tradition after all. Okay. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. That's a long story, actually. Where do I start? Don't. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. Wow, he actually didn't do it. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, got caught up in the conversation there. Wow. I literally said don't, and he didn't. Okay, well, <laughs> leave it to it for now, and... <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. Otherwise, he'd never shut up. Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Ugh, it's killing me. Maybe... Stop for a second. When you have so much on your mind. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away. But because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an <coughs> interesting reaction from him. And I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh. What I meant to say was, while Koichi is bringing the boat here, I need to make fireworks not just for you guys. Fine. It'll be fine. It's actually...
actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. Because you have other things. It's never just one thing. There's a bunch of things you gotta do on the side. When people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. <clears throat> so, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. You're just glad. You enjoy life. I get it. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do. I really do. Being born into a family of fireworks. No. Uh, what I really want to say uh, is that so that's don't what worry you mean. about me. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. Right, you just want to explode all over the place in a conversation like fireworks. Okay. Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some... Fine. It's one thing to get it all out, but it doesn't have to be all at once. You? Hello, Morigo. How's business these days? <laughs> Yoy Mia. There you are. Ah, no need to beat around the bush. You're here for the fireworks materials, I assume. I put a batch aside just for you. Huh? Really? How did you know? Because a fireworks show is coming up. And that usually means you'll be running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last minute material. Yes. I've come to expect it now. Oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you every time. Ah, oh, come on now. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Once when I had an argument with my son, Yoi Mia was the one who came and calmed him down. Yeah, because she never stopped talking, and somehow he just listened. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoi Mia, who knows? He probably would have run away by now. Maybe you should do something about your kid, because... yeah. Nah, he was never going to come to that. He's a sensitive kid, and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just, he doesn't know how to express it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, he might feel more at ease. Yeah, I guess I'm probably too serious around him. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Yeah, when you're talking with other people, it's usually other adults. But not with other kids. It's a little bit hard to talk with other kids. Don't worry about it. No one's perfect. If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to me. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. Customers come. <laughs> All right then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. Your father must be very proud of you. Mm. Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. Oh, no, you don't. Don't worry. Just take it as a token of my gratitude. Everybody in this game is giving stuff away for free. Almost everybody. It's almost like Kamisato when she, she's being like the the most popular person around town has been giving gifts by everybody. And she has to literally say, no, we'll buy them. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Don't do it. I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. I want to Surely end my business. Um, well, how about this, then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? All right, then. Pass on my regards to your dad. Tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Just after we did the gene, uh, the story quest. Oh, God. Is this why you wanted me to do that story quest, Patrick? Yeah. Important. Seems like you'd happily do anything for anyone. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. When that happens, really? I say to them, Hey, this is a fireworks store. We do fireworks. Mm, has anybody asked for anything not related to fireworks? But ugh, they don't always listen, so it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. It's interesting you say it cannot be helped, because that's a saying in Japan. It's like the, the saying, the Japanese word for it cannot be helped is, Ah, uh, night. Like the Raiden Shogun. So it's like this idea where the military, oh, cannot be helped. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? <laughs> a plastic bag. Or you're just carrying everything all the time and you just get ripped right through. 
It almost reminds me of Star when she called herself a garbage can. I don't know why she did that. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Uh, okay, what's the other problem? Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. Can't you process them? Can't your dad process them? Okay, go to any Monon Smithy. No name included. Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again. What? Oh god. Ah, going Mia. If I'm not mistaken, you must be here for some firework materials. Yes! We are! How you knew, I really wonder. But then again, maybe you've had this before, and all I could ever know is that it must have been a pattern, so I'm not just gonna eh. I'm not gonna question that. Seems like everyone knows how busy Armia gets leading up to the fireworks show. That's literally what I just said. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. I smash my hammer while talking. No worry. Oh, oh wait. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as. Uh, that will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fire show starts. Uh, do you ever feel... Wait, what? Uh, so paper thin. What the hell does that mean? There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. You'll never shut up! Please shut up, dear child! The essence of Amenoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is full. Like a house of cards. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. Uh, but, uh, this is a special circumstance, surely. The Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner. So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Then do it. Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? It is, after all. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma. You're quite welcome. The Naganohara Fireworks Show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. Uh... But Yoimi, you should plan things more carefully in the future. Do not rush everything at the last minute. Well, I feel like even with careful planning, it always seems like being rushed at the last minute. <laughs> I'll try my best. In Six feet under screen, so I know it seems to hear a thing. What? <sighs> Though for you, dear child, no matter how much you prepare in advance, on Discord. it may never be enough. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Excuse me. I'll do the work. Wow, Mr. Ami Noma. Just look at the it's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Mm-hmm. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. How could I forget? So have Amenema Art and Naganohara Fireworks been working together for a long time already? I, I don't know. It was my master. I'm really curious. Father. The people may have changed from one generation to another. Am I gonna look this up on Google the and find something? required to make fireworks have remained the same. Lyrics. I'm very curious. Fireworks. Oh, God. Okay, it's a song by Katy Perry. I know what you're doing, Patrick. I, I looked it up. Hajime, <laughs> in the future, this will be up to you. What the 4th of July? Baby, you're I know, fireworks. I know. <laughs> All right, yeah. I won't bother you guys any longer. Cause fireworks. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. God, you're you're actually doing the Katy Perry song in the chat, Patrick. Okay, time to head off. Kuchi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Fine. Do stuff. Oh well. Just as I thought, <clears throat> he isn't back yet. Not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice story for dragging you with me everywhere. <sighs> Feels like Paimon has barely spoken a word this whole trip. It's nice to just listen quietly because she talks all the time. I felt like I was neglecting you guys, mm. so I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. Maybe 
shut up! When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. Maybe! Shut up! You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Izuma? City of Freedom. Where else did you go before coming to Izuma, Leeway? I haven't been to Liyue before, but from what I've heard from Ms. Beto, it sounds like a really interesting place. But something big happened there recently, right? Didn't their Archon leave all of a sudden? Yeah! A lot of crazy things went down as a result. Luckily, uh, everyone worked together to stave off a huge disaster that- Oh! Well, that's good to hear. I gotta say, it's pretty remarkable that the citizens managed to step up and keep things going even after their Archon left. Yes! Everybody went full atheist! I mean, I sure can't imagine Inazuma without the Shogun. Hmm. My friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. Interesting how the Shogun's theme pops up again the, she, the second you mention her name. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? To track down an enemy god. And to find the last family member, too. You were separated from your family mm. because of a god? Oh, that must be really tough. Sometimes it is. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. To you think know, that some people... I was going to ask Oop. if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. Very little ever changes. Because it's this idea of being close to perfection. The idea of eternity. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Um, uh, let me put it this way. I was just worried that you might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sometimes. That's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. Yeah, well, I'm glad I dropped two courses so I can relax a little more and do the these quests. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. I'll bear that in mind. Don't worry, though. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least sleep. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. It also depends on what my brother thinks. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll keep it secret for now, though. Okay. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. Is Fine. That how I Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. Okay. 